Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered whether it's possible to test if an application will work in multiple versions of Windows with multiple different security patch levels? Even ones that are in preview and all that kind of stuff. Of course it is. You just need to install it on multiple VMs and test it out. But surely there's a better way. Surely there's a way to automate that so that you don't have to do all the, the heavy lifting yourself. Because there can be many, many applications that you want to test and it could take an awfully long time if you're doing it manually. Well, this is where test base comes in. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to go over to my... So we're going to take a look at where you might do this. So let's head over to uh, Azure. And as you can see, we've got uh, Azure AD. We'll head back to home and then type... Uh, click create resource and then type test base. And we've got test base for Microsoft 365. It's currently in preview. It's been in preview since around about July. We will click on create. And I've read this previously, so we'll click that. We're going to create a new resource group called App Testing. And we'll put that in the UK, ideally. UK South, let's do that. And the account name will go for TB App Testing. You choose Review and Create, and Create. Fantastic. So while that creates, this is currently free of charge as it's in the uh, it's in the preview. But as soon as it does get released to general availability, then you will need to take a look at the pricing model to make sure that you're not being charged for something you didn't expect. Okay, that took around about two minutes, so we'll just use go to resource. Fine. So there's a few things we need to do first before we can get cracking with using this. We need to have put all of our test application and our scripts together into a zip file. So I'll show you what we're going to do first. I'll grab this here and just move it along for you. So as you can see, I'm going to be testing with VLC because I'd like to know that this new version of VLC, which is version 3.0.16, will install on my computers that I'm releasing it to. So we need a script. We need a, an install script. We need a, a, an uninstall script a launch script and a close script so that we can test all of these different things when we're running this test. So in the install script, for example, we have uh, in the install, we have this here, which is start process then the file path name and the argument, which is slash S in the uninstall. I'm going to just use this. I'm going to call the uninstall executable with a slash S. I've tested that to make sure it works uh, in the launch. It's simply a case of running VLC executable um, with a start process and with the close I'm just going to kill the process called VLC with a force and that will pretty much do it. So I've put all those scripts into these things here and I've just zipped them all up. So I did that by just choosing all of them, right click and then compress the zip file and it's this zip file here. So yeah, that's, that's there. So now head over to this website and just choose upload new package. I'm going to call it VLC, uh, I'll leave it as VLC, and the version is 3.0.16, and the type of test, let's take a look at the options here. We are going to do an out-of-box test rather than a functional test, because a functional test would be a bit too much for me to show you right now, because I, really what I want to know is that it, uh, as it says here, that it installs it launches, it closes, and can be uninstalled. So that's what I want with the, with the out-of-box test, and that's selected by default. So the OS update type, I'm going to choose all. I want to make sure it works on everything and the OS versions to test. Look at this. It's fantastic. So uh, I want to test it works on Windows 11, Windows 10, 21H1, 20H2, and 2004, and 1909. And look at that, all future all OS updates. I'm not too worried about Windows Server, so we'll leave that unticked. And for the Insider Preview channel. So in the Insider Beta channel, I'll choose that. And yeah, so we're going to test on everything. Really, look at that. It's brilliant. I'll choose binaries. And I'm going to upload this file here. Let's take a second to upload. Great. And then we'll choose tasks. So the install script. Just called install.ps1. We'll choose reboot after execution just to make sure it works. 
Uh, oh, actually, I'll, I'll untick that. I don't need it to reboot. That wouldn't be a great requirement for an end user. To close and the uninstall script. It's just there. Great. So we'll choose test options. Um, and this is to do with the functional test, so we don't need to do that. And then choose review. So what we're going to do is uh, test this package installing, uh, running, closing, and then uninstalling on all these different OS versions with all the different security updates that are available. So that's pretty neat. Let's choose create and see what happens. So it says package creation successful. An initial test to verify your package installation is underway. Click here to view your package. We've got a little activity going on up here. Verifying package install. So click here to view your package. Click. Okay, we have a... Okay, so package name. The test is out of box. We're doing some verification on that. Uh, that's when I uploaded it. I can edit it, nothing ready to test yet, and I could probably delete it, do some test results. Fine, okay, so what I'm going to do is head over and grab a cup of tea while this finishes verification, and we'll come back to it. Okay, so as you can see, it now says it's uh, ready to test, and the verification status is accepted. So what you'll notice is that the out-of-box uh, test or um, process has, has passed, and if we go into test summary, you'll see that it's it's actually already completed all of the tests that I asked it to complete. So the security update test, you can see it has run uh, this installation, so that install, launch, close, and uninstall on uh, Windows 10 1909, 20H1, 20H2, 2004, and Windows 11 21H2. And it that was the that was the security update release that it ran. Uh, that's the build version, so you can see that. And if we just go into the Windows 10, 19, or 9 one and choose see results, let's take a look at what you get. So it tells us that it has run the script execution. Let's take a look at that, uh, and it tells us there you go. So it did a there were no non-zero exit codes. That's a good that's a good way of putting it. Uh, and it had the exit code of zero for all of these scripts that it ran, which is fantastic. And, uh, oh, look at this, video files. Right, let's see what happens here. Just open that up and take a look what we got. So we have, jump into here. So I'm just going to run uh, this one. It looks good from the thumbnail there. Let's just run this. Okay, so we've got the machine turning on, I think, and it's on, it's at the desktop, it's installed VLC Media Player, and to get to the end, okay, didn't do anything else other than install VLC Media Player. Let's see what happens if we put the other video in. Ah, look at that, so we've got VLC running, and now closed, and still installed though. Let's see what happens so it's removed it great and that's it right so not only have we got the script log files that we can download no doubt with the, this button here to see what it actually did when it ran those scripts you've also got the um, the video of it installing that um, that application running it closing it so you can really see if there are any errors and you know, it's not perfect. That script, all it did was in, was install it and launch it. Um, but that's look at the power of that. You've got every uh, feature update that's currently supported by Microsoft. You could even run it on servers if you wanted to, and you're going to get pretty much instant uh, knowledge around the application compatibility there of this one application. Obviously, you can put as many applications in there as you like. This could really revolutionise your application testing if you want to make sure that all of your applications work for all the different feature updates that that are going to be released in your organization. Let's take a quick look at the other stuff we get in here because I, I skipped through it quite quickly. Um, if we click on security update results, we'll choose VLC and the version and then we'll do Windows 11 and we'll choose that release. The build version is that one there 
And I guess we're going to see the same kind of thing, right? So this, um, it could do reliability, apparently, and memory utilization. Let's see what we get for memory utilization. Uh, okay, so it tells us what it, what memory it was using when it was running. See, that, that's pretty cool, because you can see that it actually used 5 gig at some point when it was launching there, or doing something there, um, which is interesting. It's good. It's good information. Obviously, the computer will use as much memory as it needs to to, to run the app. Uh, and then you've got all these different um, results of, of crashing um, executables, the number of times they launch, all that kind of stuff. It's fantastic stuff. Just jump back out of that and go to feature update. Uh, okay, so we'll go into this. Just click through all of these. Looks like it's the insider on the flighting ring then. Uh, this this so this has reliability information. That's quite clever. That it picked that up, um, and so the diff uh, so it's giving us the information about both of these by the looks of it. Yeah, so you can compare. That's clever, and you could be a check which applications are running. Um, that's pretty clever. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so really basic, quick run through of test base there. Uh, I think it's incredible. I think it's definitely going to going to change how I do application testing for clients when I work with um, customers in my own in my own role. So uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully that's been useful. Please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.